I went to grad school at Northwest University in Kirkland and um, did my master's in international community development. Um, and then I ended up about two years ago, kind of switching over into consulting uh, marketing. I actually was at a smaller firm um, called Yesler downtown um, in Pioneer Square. And then we got sold to Accenture um, just this past year. So now I've had the opportunity, um, I've been working with Microsoft the past year or so. Um, I've worked with SAP, um, another kind of tech company, um, and just doing kind of more project management stuff. Never thought that I would be out of um, nonprofit work, um, especially after doing my master's, basically in community development. I was like, I don't even know how we got here. But basically, I think what it was is I, because I was an IAS, I was able to leverage all of the different things that I learned about research and communication and working with other groups and different types of people that I was able to kind of take a step back. Um, you know, I was about six, seven years in um, working, you know, nonprofit and program management, kind of what I'm doing now, um, and more in like analytics and marketing um, for nonprofits. And so I was kind of looking at, you know, what, what is the next step that I can take in my career that will get me to where I want to be further down the road? So like a dream job for me is like Gates Foundation or like a bigger um, nonprofit like that um, in that sense. And so I had to kind of reevaluate where I was. It was comfortable, um, but growth wise, there weren't many opportunities. Um, and so I was able to leverage a lot of the things that I did learn in IAS because of that. And because of having more of a, a well-rounded skill set, instead of focusing on one narrow path, I was able to use it and kind of network and reach out like, okay, I wanna continue in the marketing realm. Um, how do I make that next step to where I can, you know, continue with my career with that mindset, right, of where I want to go in 10, 15 years. And so it is just kind of figuring out, right, what works for you in that time. Now I have two small children. So for me, um, a role where I'm able to have more flexibility is key. Um, and I'm, but I'm still also building skill sets um, and kind of figuring out. So I, I had this it, it was, took me a while when I graduated to to come to terms with I'm not going to have this like end all be all job right when I get out of college and I'm not, I might not have it for a few years um, and I'm going to have to build my skill set and my knowledge around it and learn as I go. I learned fundraising, not so much my jam. Talk, I like to talk. So I'm like, I'm good, right? I can talk to people. I love talking to people. Not so much, not my thing. Um, and I've kind of knew that I like to do research, but not, not like I am doing now um, and using kind of more technical skills that I actually really enjoy. And I enjoy more of the program management side of things than I didn't realize I wanted to do then. Um, so for me, it's, it's evolving constantly. And I guess just fitting in where in my life, right? What works 